So finally our festival is coming soon. So this video is only for our big festival and those who love to decorate their house like me. Okay guys you can see this is our 2012 Neo Pixel. This is quite popular and quite expensive. So in today's video I will try to find out how to control this Neo Pixel with internet. I mean you can control it anywhere with your cell phone. So let's find out. This video is sponsored by JLCPCB and EasyEDA. And I have been using EasyEDA for the last 5 years to make my PCB. In the same way today's PCB I made in EasyEDA software. And with that even you can order your PCB at JLCPCB from EasyEDA. The JLCPCB has came up with an excellent offer for you. First time any user registered on JLCPCB website you will get a free coupon of $18. This is really awesome right? Other hand you will also receive free coupon every month on SMT order. So, without wasting any more time, grab this wonderful offer by visiting the JLCPC website. Link is in the description box. Okay, you can see this is the Node MCU, I mean ESP8266. Yeah, this is our main brain. With that, we need a new pixel strip. If you want to use more, then definitely you can. On the other hand, even you can control this very cheap new pixel. Let's see in closer look what inside in a single new pixel. See here, a small chip inside in this RGB LED. As a result, it will be a decibel LED. This little chip is controlling three color LEDs. On the other hand, this same chip is also using this low cost bigger NeoPixel. Okay, let's make some adjustment to control this NeoPixel. See my NeoPixel strip. Every pixel LED has data input and data output. And this LED's output pin goes to another input and the second LED's output goes to another input. Just like that, you can add many LEDs. Okay, now I have to connect every wire. So that is why I will connect digital pin 4 to new pixel data input pin. Next I don't forget to share ground and I hope you know this ESP8266 does not have any 5 volt output pin. On the other hand this LED strips one single LED is consuming 60 million per current. So that is why we need a solid 5 volt power source. So that is why I connect external power for this LED strip. Okay, here our connection is done. So now time to connect this USB cable to my laptop for programming purpose. Next I search on Google WLED and this is the owner of this software. And I download this whole file and I open it. And see, this is my software and bin file. So I open the application and next I select my ESP8266 port. After that I select my bin file and definitely I flush it. And obviously this case may take some time. Okay, you can see our ESP8266 LED is blinking like crazy. After flashing, you can see yellow light is glowing. Now time to communicate with my cell phone. So that is why I will use Android cell phone. Then I go to the Wi-Fi setting and here I found WLED app names device and select it. And then here I will type the password WLED1234 and then you saw a page open in your front of you. Now here you have to go to the Wi-Fi setting and the enter your Wi-Fi name and its password. Next if you have then you can type your host otherwise you can leave and save it. And after then I will connect my own Wi-Fi and then I go to the app center and download the WLED application. Next when I open the application you can see the host is finding and I click it. And here you can see a nice graphical interface is open. Now we can control LED as your wish. This is really awesome and here is no issue to fine tune your LEDs. I think this is really easy and awesome. Even you can change the effect that you want. So many effects are available in this application. Even you can change your color, even his color effect loop. So guys this is for today. I hope you can learn something new from this video. If you don't like this video, then definitely dislike it. And if you like this video, then subscribe my channel. See you in the next one.